Well hello everyone, so today it's going to be a relaxed video, so I'm wearing a onesie today, but I thought that we should talk about Jurassic World. So like many others in the world, I spent money to watch a movie on dinosaurs this weekend. And it was amazing. So as I was planning this video, I realized I didn't have that much bad things to say about this movie, other than the fact that Claire ran through the entire movie in heels. I'm about to demonstrate to you how impractical that was. In conclusion, Claire must have been talented as fuck. Here are my reasons why I like Jurassic World. At number four is the Indominus Rex. Think it'll scare the kids? The kids? This will give the parents nightmares. Once again, humans have fucked up nature. Okay, I think the rule for all Jurassic movies is that the dinosaurs are never the villains. And the Indominus Rex is the perfect representation of that because it is not a natural dinosaur. Because she was man-made, she was relevant to the entire story, unlike the Spinosaurus who I think just followed around those people in the third movie. Are you ready? One, two, come on! Coming in at number three is Chris Pratt and his Raptor Squad. Did anyone else see that motorcycle scene and just think, America? That might have been just me. It's probably the stupidest piece of insight I have for this, but whatever. Going back to that, I really liked how they explained how Chris Pratt's character was able to bond with the Raptors, which is because he raised them since they were babies. She's the beta. Who's the alpha? You're looking at him, kid. He's literally their mom. That they want to eat. The idea of weaponizing them for the army was actually really interesting, but I think the movie as a whole could have done without it. I think the final fight actually hit me hard when I think it was Blue that stepped out to fight with the T-Rex against the Indominus Rex because... The fan feels. Seeing the original two dinosaurs team up made me just want to like... Wah. In a close second place, the park itself. Jurassic World definitely did more than Jurassic Park in terms of the park itself. Just like the design with the monorail, the attractions, made me wish this place was real so I could go to it. Although, it kind of reminds me of SeaWorld. Honestly, if this place existed with giant robots and animatronics and zero chance of me being killed or eaten alive, then hell yeah, I'd spend money on that. And at number one is the homage and references to the first movie. Being a dinosaur-loving 90s child, the Jurassic series was a big part of my childhood, with the first one coming out in 1993 and followed by its sequels in 97 and 2001, I think. Don't judge the six-year-old in me because I thought those sequels were good. Thought. In retrospect, they were pretty shitty. So being a fan of the original, I had some huge hopes that they were going to have some nods to the original movie. From the control room guy who wore the original shirt, to the T-Rex eating the goat, to the night vision goggles and jeeps, so holy shit, the Indominus Rex in the old facility. It just made me so happy, and I recommend any old Jurassic fans out there to go watch it at least once because it's worth it. But yeah, that is it for this video, guys. If you're curious as to what I didn't like about the movie, comment down below. I'm still debating on making that video. But yeah, if you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up. And if you give it a big thumbs up, you should go check my other videos out. If you did and you like them, then you should go subscribe to my channel because I make videos every Monday. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next week. Bye!